What's up guys, my name is Aditya and welcome to AGT Tech. Well guys, I'm using the iPhone SE on the iOS 14 developer beta and in this video, I'm going to be giving you my entire review. Well guys, it has been a very short time. I'm using this OS on my old iPhone SE, but I have got a complete idea regarding this update. So guys, with the help of this video, I'm going to be discussing that are there any problems or are there any significant problems and if you are planning to install this early beta then should you install or not so guys today's video is going to be very interesting and guys if you are new to my channel then definitely consider subscribing and without any further ado let's get started so guys first of all i want to say a very important thing and that is if you are having any of the old iphones if you are having an old iphone se iphone 6s or the iphone 7 then you must download the ios 14 update well guys i am not talking about the developer beta but whenever the full version will come in the month of fall at that time you can install that but guys I want to say a big thank you to Apple to supporting this particular device well guys I don't know how I can discuss about this iPhone SE this iPhone is having four years old hardware the latest software support and the upcoming iPhone 12 is gonna be of like this form factor so this phone is not from past not from present and not even from future and I don't know and guys using this phone with the iOS 14 I can tell you in writing that the iOS 14 on the iPhone 12 is going to be very excellent well guys first of all it is very difficult to even imagine such a great OS on such a small and an outdated machine well guys this phone was launched in 2016 and I am having or I am literally surprised with the entire performance so guys the number one question that anybody asks is about the battery life well guys if you update any of your Android phones or iPhone Phones, you will see a little bit drop in the battery life and guys with my iPhone SE I'm noticing a slight battery drop but that is not at all a considerable factor because it is a very subtle one and I think it is because of the widgets function well guys if you are not familiar widgets are nothing but a smaller version of any single application so it is constantly refreshing like if the weather changes then the weather widget will automatically change the temperature so all of the widgets are automatically refreshing every second and because of this the battery life is affected little bit but guys if you are talking about any of the iPhones this difference is literally negligible my iPhone SE is having 95% battery health and I am not noticing any major issues well guys when the iOS 11 was first launched I launched I installed the developer beta in the first day itself that goes same with the iOS 12 iOS 13 and now I have installed the iOS 4 on the first day itself so overall every single OS has been there on this iPhone since day one and guys I can literally tell you that I am not suffering from any issues so guys this doesn't mean there are no problems in this OS well guys again it is a developer beta and there are kind of subtle or minute problems sometimes the animations get glitched but other than that there are nothing that many drastic problems well guys there are no issues like app crashing or your phone is not restarting constantly so there is no major problem you can comfortably use your iPhone but guess sometimes the animation kind of gets lag and if you will look at the wallpaper section you will see the app layout or you can see the widgets as an icon so there are still so many places where Apple needs to polish the iOS and that's why this is called as the developer beta and guys in the month of fall this iOS will be publicly available and that time you can install this OS well guys I just want to conclude in simple sentence that the iOS 14 developer beta is by far one of the most stable developer betas ever and guys there are not major problems and guys because of this this iOS 14 old devices like the SE or the 6s are getting way more powerful so guys if you are planning to install the iOS 14 you can definitely install but it is everything is in your own risk and if you want to wait for the public release then you can wait till the month of fall but guys I am really impressed by the performance of this iPhone SE running the current iOS version so guys with the help of this video I wanted to say that if you are ready to take the risk and if you desperately want want to install the iOS 14 developer beta then you can 100% download it so guys thanks a lot for watching this video and guys if you want to download this iOS version I have given a link in the description you can follow the steps and later on you will be able to download this beta so guys
guys thanks a lot for watching this video and guys definitely do not forget to subscribe my channel and i will meet you with another beautiful video until then peace